Hello everybody, it's uh, Steve Katsikaris, Norlin Kolbaconk Watchdog. Just doing a quick video here today regarding our friends to the north of us in Minden, Ontario. I understand there's a business owner that's been fined by the crooked cops for opening up and trying to serve people food. And uh, I understand his dilemma right now, but I want the owner in Minden, uh, I think his name is Dave Lake, I left a message for him saying that I'm trained in federal law, I'm trained to um, take any matter to the federal court, the highest court in Canada. So um, don't get a lawyer. I'm going to come down there, or up there, we're south of you, and I'm going to help you out with this uh, matter of being fined $500,000 or something like that. I just saw it on Rebel Media. And uh, we're going to take your uh, case to 180 Queen Street, and I'm sure Rebel Media can... Uh, um, vouch for me on where 180 Queen Street is. That's the federal court down in Toronto. I've been down there a few times now having some of our cases thrown out here illegally by Julie Payette, the head of state, and Mr. Trudeau. So what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to take my case that's been thrown out illegally and I'm going to wrap it up with yours and we're going to go in the courtroom and it's not going to cost you a single cent. If I win, I get some bacon and eggs for free though. If I win. There you go. There's a good Canadian. Canadian bacon. <laughs> so anyways, I left the owner a message up at uh, uh, the 50s Diner in Minden there. Uh, he's just been uh, ambushed by a bunch of crooked cops and uh, the government saying he's now been fined a half a million dollars for trying to open up. And all I can say is this COVID-19 thing has gotten so crazy, so stupid, it's causing a lot more deaths for people not getting proper treatment for other illnesses. And we've been shutting down this whole country and our government still hasn't acknowledged that COVID-19 is a weapon that got out. That would explain why this thing traveled around the world so quickly. It would explain why the World Health Organization covered it up for so long. It would explain why all the politicians were quickly were quick to hand out money here in Canada and uh, sort of in the States, especially the rich guys, they got it there. But anyways, make a long story short, um, I want the businesses in Minden, Kawartha Lakes, to defy government, to open up. I'm coming, you're coming, we're going to carry on as usual, take the proper precautions, you know, social distancing, hand sanitizer, but we're not going to stop living. We're not going to be under house arrest any longer. The government and the police are not going to intimidate community watchdogs like myself and my family for blowing whistles on uh, corruption in government here in the city of Kawartha Lakes. And we're sure not going to let the police and government push around business owners that need to keep open in order to make a living. It's been 100 days now for this lockdown, and I tell you right now, it's not going to go for another 100. We simply don't have enough cases in the area to justify this. And we want to get back to our lives, and this is nothing more than a power grab, starting with uh, taking people's guns away. What, the, what does that have to do with COVID-19? And you can see the riots in the states. You see how crazy this has gotten. So that's why I'm making a stand here. I'm going to bring my legal expertise under advocacy. It's in the Federal Court Act. I'm actually qualified to be a federal court judge. I don't look like it, but I do have the knowledge and the license to back it up even though Judge Kane at 180 Queen Street ran out of the courtroom and did, not, and did not acknowledge my qualifications under the Aeronautics Act and also under the Maritime Act. I am an advocacy. That means I'm trained in federal law. And to back it up, Julie Payette is the Governor General of Canada and she sits there. Why? Because she's a professional pilot like me who's been trained under the Aeronautics Act and has the experience to be a head of state. I think she did 10 years at least in the military. So, that's why she's the head of state, because she's trained like me as a professional pilot, and a professional pilot is also a peace officer. In order to be a peace officer, you need to be trained in law. Now, I'm trained at the federal level, not the provincial level. So, I go way up there, and that's why Julie Payette is the head of state. She's not the head of state because she's a scientist. She's the head of state because she's a professional pilot. That's right. And we're trained under the federal law, under the Aeronautics Act. So, I've already been in the federal court. They've already ran away from me. I got a thousand documents I'm going to bring down there and combined it with all the cases that are going to be happening up in Minden, starting with that 50s diner, and we're going to bring it into one mega case against the people of this area with the federal government doing criminal conspiracies, working with mafia and Indians to come after me and my family, to bring in this new world order with this stupid COVID-19 thing here shutting down the whole country. And we're just simply not getting the numbers. So I've had it. 
I know you've had it and the businesses are going to reopen and we're going to reopen like now. And I'm proud of this business owner opening up his doors and taking a chance. But I'll tell you right now, businesses are not going to be intimidated by police. They're not going to be intimidated by the federal government or the provincial government. We need to make a living. We need to get back on our lives. We're not going to be under house arrest and we're not going to live in fear anymore. We're going to start taking chances with this COVID-19 and Justin Trudeau, the head of state, the RCMP are all coming to court and they're going to start talking about all this stuff, starting with COVID-19 and how it got out from China. Why didn't the Trudeau put a travel ban on or an advisory on? How come Canadians found out way late in the game in March of 2020? We want answers. We want the, the names of all the dead. We want to see all their medical records. We want to make sure that these people were healthy or not. We want to know why all this has happened. And this is definitely Agenda 21, a power grab to take away our democracies, to take away our freedom. This is worldwide. Any free loving world, uh, country in the world, is gonna lose their democracy and their freedom. And I'll tell you right now, Agenda 21 is not gonna work because we can see the riots in the States right now. People have had it. People have had it. We've had it here, we've had it everywhere. And it's pretty much a worldwide phenomenon now. So, I'm going up to Minden tomorrow to talk to this, um, 50s diner owner and I'm going to help him out with his matter and I'll tell you right now as soon as they find out that Steve Katsikaris is representing you in this court case with your fine which you're going to fight they're going to throw it out because they can't afford and that's they Justin Trudeau Julie Payette and all those shithead cops in town will have to prosecute themselves with all the evidence I have so that's how that case is going to win and I want business owners out there to start opening up right now if they're going to fine you I'm going to be your lawyer for free because I'm a community watchdog and I know what I'm doing. And if judges like Judge Kane and others, uh, Gonzulus and McClown and a whole bunch of others, have to get up and run out of the courtroom because I'm so quick on procedures, I'm so quick on the law that they can't come back. And I also have the evidence to prove it. We're going to embarrass these people in government, in the courthouses, in law enforcement. We're going to show them that the people of this area do run this community. And it's also under Williams Treaty, 1923. We have English heritage rights here. And that's also part of the law here in Canada. You might not think it, but we can actually come hard down on Julie Payette for breaking Williams Treaty, 1923, since I got the evidence of the Mississauga Indians up here on Trails End screwing around, starting with harassing and molesting inhabitants and killing my pets. We got all the documents to prove all this. So I'm not just saying this. Over 1,000 documents I have from courthouses across Ontario, which I accumulated over the last eight years, along with uh, 150 videos of shithead cops coming on my property and lying and saying there's an arrest warrant for me when there's not, to take me hostage, to shut me up about these illegal sewage systems which are ruining our health and our water in this area. And here this government is going after this diner owner because he might endanger people's health with, health with COVID-19. Well, look who's talking. And where's Jamie Schmail, Mr. MP? And Lori Scott, the MPP? Why do people in this fucking community keep voting for these shitheads that never say a fucking word to anybody? And here we got a national emergency on, and they don't want to say boo. And Mr. Andy Letham, where in the hell are you? It seems like the only people that care about this community are community watchdogs and business owners. Why? Because we got to live here. That's why. We're not here to grease our hands and palms like you crooked politicians and the cops. People have had it. And now it's, that's, it's reckoning day. And I'm just so angry to find out the cops are going around and the government pushing around business owners. And people need to make a living. And people don't have to be afraid anymore. People have the right to live in freedom and security under the Constitution of Canada. People might want to take a look at the Charter, start reading it, and Trudeau, I'm going to make him eat it when this is done because he's going to be the first Prime Minister that, that's going to go to jail. And I got him right now for criminal negligence for 7,000 deaths here in Canada. 7,000 deaths and counting with COVID-19. And also political hostage taking with the Chinese uh, businesswoman there that there is no proof of her ever doing a crime and the mainstream media is making it out that she's done some spy operation. Well, if she has, we need to see it.
and the Americans need to prove it. And what the hell is Canada doing sexual favors for the Americans for? They got their bloody Navy SEALs. They can just go and grab her when she's in some third world country. We don't have to use the RCMP and our friggin' airports and our democracy and take her hostage and hold her for over a bloody year and a half now. And Edward Snowden, not Edward Snowden, uh, Julian Assange. He's been in jail for over a year now, and they're letting criminals out left, right, and center, and for sure, they're not letting him out. Why? Because he's a whistleblower. And that's why we're going to bring in whistleblower legislation, and when you go after a whistleblower, it's a life sentence. And there's enough evidence now with Edward Snowden releasing the documents of the NSA spying on Americans. You can see the riots in the streets in the States now. Americans have had it. We want our freedom back, and we're going to get our freedom back. And we're not going to let police or government tell us otherwise. In fact, I, I suggest that the police and government take a, thing, uh, uh, take a couple of lessons from history, starting with the French Revolution. Yeah, that didn't work out for the elites too well. And I think they better start coming on side and the demands and the wishes of the people of this country. And as a Canadian, I don't care what they do in the States. I don't care what they do in Europe. I care what happens here. And I don't want to play the dance with all these other countries saying we can do this, we can do that. No, no. We're a separate, sovereign nation. We are Canada. We make our own bloody decisions in this country. And I'll tell you right now, our Constitution is a nice piece of documentation, a great way to live. And I don't think we should flush it down the toilet and bring in some kind of baloney police state. You can open, you can open. I can go to Walmart, oh yeah, I can go to Staples, but boy, I can't go get bacon and eggs or go see a bloody dentist to get my teeth cleaned. It's not making any sense at all. So, I'm going down to Minden tomorrow. I'm putting this video up today. I friggin' had it. I'm gonna take this down to the federal court at 180 Queen Street. This poor man uh, who's trying to make a living up there at the 50s diner, I want him to know there's someone in his, cor in his corner right now. And don't worry, I got my own, my, own, my own special interest here. I want to get my case into the courthouse too and get hurt. So if they're going to fine you $500,000, let's go to court. Let me take it in there. I don't care where it's got to go. We'll file a federal application. We'll follow the federal court rules. And I'll lay the information under 504, the criminal code, and put a whole bunch of shithead cops right behind bars. For what? Criminal conspiracy and municipal corruption. Section 21, parties to the offense. And also counseling to the offense from the Attorney General of Canada, David Lamente, Peter McKay, and Jody Rayball Wilson. All three of them are involved in this crap right here in our community, and I got the goods on them. All we gotta do is get in the courtroom, and if they're gonna find people for opening up their businesses, let me represent you, and I'll just make them eat it. Eat it legally. Just like General Brock, I'm going to take Fort Detroit without firing a shot. It's that simple. Anyways, I'm Steve Katsikaris, your Norlin Kobaconk watchdog, going up to bat for the business owners in Minden and the rest of the community here and making sure that your rights are respected by government and police at all times and the police state is done especially in this area. This is going to be the place where it starts first in Canada, right here in Minden, Ontario, city of Kawartha Lakes. We're going to set an example, not to just the rest of the country, but to the rest of the world, that Canada is true, north, strong, and free. And we're taking a stand right now, just like Vimy Ridge, and we're going to climb the hill together. We're going to climb the hill together. Enough is enough. We had it. Anyways, take care everybody and uh, stay tuned for my next video. So long.